Hey everyone, it's Pat the Halloween Movie Collector. Everybody been seeing this all over the place. A lot of uh, channels are making comments on it. So I figured let me chime in with my thoughts on this. What does everybody think of the proposed new Loomis television series as part of the Halloween series, I guess? I don't know if it, maybe it's going to be part of that. But they're talking about a uh, backstory for Dr. Loomis, like a TV series exploring his, probably his years before, uh, maybe years before Smith's Grove. And then he goes to Smith's Grove or maybe years at Smith's Grove with Michael and other patients, because I'm sure he had other patients other than Michael. So I, I've seen a lot of channels. Some channels are against it. Some channels are for it. I'm a mixed bag depending on how they approach it. Now, um, obviously, Dr. Loomis was probably just a regular psychiatrist, child psychologist working at Smith's Grove or maybe private practice before that. And... Probably didn't have anything all that interesting happen until he met Michael. So you got to wonder, okay, well, if it's a backstory, how much is there? So they can start with a little bit of a buildup of his home life and then Smith's Grove and where he meets Michael and then all the events thereafter. For those that have never read the Halloween novelization, which obviously came out after the film in 78, it came out in 79, there was um, several things mentioned in there that happened there was a lot of back. There was a little bit of backstory as to why Michael is the way he is, due to a curse on the family. If you haven't read it, and there's also Michael at Smith's Grove, and there's all events that happened at Smith's Grove that led Loomis to believe that he was evil, that he had the blackest eyes. There was there was something inside him, and he wanted to keep him locked up, and his fight to keep him locked up because there was a judge that was trying to let him out based upon different rulings and evaluations. And although Loomis can never have any proof of these things that Michael supposedly did during his time at Smith's Grove, Michael was always there. It was always surrounded him, but there was never any proof. Like somebody got hurt or this happened to this person. There was always retribution for somebody that did something to Michael. So now if they explored that and put that in the television show, now that would be great. You know, explore Loomis's, you know, when Loomis goes home, he in, in the novelization, he has a wife and he has a son. There's a lot of meat on the bone if you take what they put in that 70, uh, 79, actually, novelization. So let's see what they're saying online uh, about this proposed Loomis prequel. Okay, so iHeart.com is saying, let's see... Halloween prequel concept Loomis in super early development. So let's see. According to a social media post by filmmaker Titus Peoples, no idea that is, he and co-writer Nigel Harden are willing are writing and developing a series focused on Dr. Samuel Loomis, the obsessed psychiatrist who pursued Michael Myers throughout the franchise. Peoples is the executive producer behind the 2020 indie thriller The Cattle Farmer. Never heard of it. He's also president and chief executive officer of Ultimate Class Entertainment. Never heard of it. Explains how he got inspired. So it's still very much in the early development phase. He wondered about the life of Dr. Sam Loomis before getting to Michael. With the help of co-creator and co-writer, we'll expand on the Halloween mythology with, the, with this series. Pilot episode 90% written. Ultimate Class Studios going crazy. Pen to pad and belt to ass. I think fans are really going to appreciate the extended world we are building in the Halloween universe. People told iHorror, Dr. Samuel Loomis is an interesting character, so it would be great to explore who he was before he met Michael. You know, this is... Um, so this would be interesting, I guess. Like I said, as long as it doesn't get too deep, because you got to remember, he was an ordinary doctor. I'm sure a lot of crazy shit didn't happen to him until he met Michael. So I would, if you want to have a, like I said, a little bit of a buildup before Michael and then the events at Smith's Grove, which of course they can embellish and create their own. They don't necessarily have to take word for word what was in that novelization, but they can use it as a reference if they're not even aware of it. Go back and see all the different events leading up to Michael's escape in 78. Well, let's see. There's also another one here. And this one is Joe Blow, which is, you know. Not necessarily the most accurate stuff, but it's fun to read anyway. Is a Halloween prequel series with Dr. Loomis in development. Hmm. Okay. Small screen horror franchise prequels are going to be a thing. Then you know all of us here are ready for them. We've seen 
Snags in the Friday the 13th Crystal Lake series. Yeah, I'm, which, I'm waiting for it to come out. Welcome to Derry. There's a lot of them that are going to TV now, which is going to be pretty interesting. But let's see. Joining them could be a prequel series to the Halloween franchise with the focus being on Dr. Sam Loomis, the psychiatrist who was assigned to Michael Myers after murdering his older sister. Okay, it's pretty much the same quote from this um, Titus person. Same, yeah, it's basically a lot of the same stuff here. Um, so let's see. You know, they're mentioning here Bates Motel, which would be nice. You know, use that as an inspiration. Get those writers because Bates Motel, my God, that was one of my favorite TV shows ever. They did a hell of a job. I loved Bates Motel. But since it's it's too early to tell, we know Malik, for those that were at age 45, I was at age 45, mentioned a television series was in development. You mentioned the game was in development, and we've already seen one release. We're supposed to get another video game coming later on. That I think is going to be a little bit more uh, enhanced than the one that we just saw from that retro gamer place, which I ordered, of course. But let's see where this goes. I would be interesting, but you get, I understand, like I said, there's very little on the, on that bone for Dr. Loomis until he gets to Smith's Grove and meets Michael and could have events there. And it would be great. See, my, my vision of a Halloween TV series is stories, almost like an anthology. Okay, you want to have season one? Loomis. Loomis, uh, his home life, how he meets Michael, what he does to keep Michael locked up, leading up to Michael escaping. Season two, Michael has escaped. We see more of how he is roaming around before he gets to uh, the babysitter's. You know, before he gets to the Doyle and Wallace house, they could expand on all that. Obviously, we can't use all those same shooting places because some of it's changed. It's, but you know, you have to use your your imagination and and uh, see where they go with it. Hopefully, it's creative enough. And then you can have other stories, a little, little bit of a Lori story as she gets older. You can have you can have backstories on Linda and Annie a little bit more. Annie at home with uh, with her parents, right? You know, a young. Um, Sheriff Brackett and his wife. Maybe she had a sibling. We never find out. Same thing with Linda, PJ Soul's character. We could get a little bit of backstory on her, a little bit more on Bob, on all the people from the from the original. We don't need to go too crazy and have backstories on everybody. But they said they wanted to go back to the OG. We can get a little bit of that in each different series. And you can even, like one episode could be a little bit on Annie. Next episode could be a little bit on um, Linda. And they could just make so much with it. There's so much there. I just hope they do a great job. But that's that's my rant. I just I just wanted to get on, talk a little bit about it, get some people's feedback. Let me know your comments. Hit me up below. Let me know what are you are you looking forward to a Limit series? Do you not want a Limit series? Do you want to keep it in ambiguity because you don't want to know anything about that? Or are you just a Halloween nut like me and you just fodder, 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 give me more? Let me know and hit me up with the comments below. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Get some more Halloween fans to find this channel because we do a ton of Halloween stuff podcasts and all sorts of fun shit and if you haven't done so already i'm aiming to hit that 2000 subscriber mark by the end of the year you guys can help me by hitting that subscribe button don't cost nothing and uh like i said comment below let me know your thoughts are you looking for a Loomis series or in the halloween series how would you like to lay it out i just gave you my idea a little bit of an anthology different stories different periods backstories on different people let me know what you would want until then i'll talk to you soon I am talking about the real possibility that he is still out there.